everyone, this is Eddie from Revolution Magazine and today I'm here with Peter Nicholas, CEO of Zeitwinkel. Hello Peter. Hello Eddie. This is a very interesting brand. I only knew about it quite recently, but apparently you've been around for uh, since 2006. Can you tell me about the journey from when you first started to now? Well, actually we are present on the market since 2010, but uh, we have founded Zeitwinkel in 2006 uh, first step was uh, developing our own in-house movement um, uh, because we wanted to have an authentic brand. And uh, for authentic brand, we thought uh, it uh, requires definitely an own movement. Uh, next step was uh, after the development to prototype the movement. And after the prototyping, uh, you test it. After the test, you prototype again, mm -hmm. and then you go to the next step is the serial production. So the first product we had available, Basel 2010. Mm -hmm. You mentioned authentic watchmaking. Can you elaborate more about that? First, it started with the name. Uh, uh, there were several possibilities how to name the watch, and uh, we, we started with how we did not want uh, to name the watch. Uh, we did not want to name it regarding to our names or in referring to our names. Uh, we thought uh, an expression with, which has something to do at least with time measuring uh, is more authentic and goes together, uh, more, goes, uh, more together with an authentic movement. Uh, that's why we had uh, found the name Zeitwinkel. So what was the process like of um, creating your own movement? It's a big challenge. <laughs> and. Uh, it definitely is the, the first process is uh, to defining what kind of functions uh, we would like to have in our movement. Uh, and uh, uh, Zeitwinkel uh, manufactures watches for the daily use. And uh, so this required a base movement, which serves for hours and minutes, hours and minutes uh, central second, and calendar, hours and minutes in decentral second. Then we all have our second movement, uh, where we added uh, a power reserve indication uh, and uh, a large date indication. How has the brand been received by the watch industry and watch lovers in general? Friends already knew about our project. Friends like, uh, for example, Frank, uh, Frank and Charmaine from Kronos. We had a long, long relationship yet and they had been the first uh, who already pre-ordered our watches even before we had the, the product uh, finished in serial production and um, with some of those uh, some retailers with the help of press uh, some customers already knew about us uh, but other than that uh, uh, it is uh, very difficult for all the independent brands represented in the boutiques because uh, unfortunately all the uh, major boutiques or the majority of the major boutiques uh, are occupied uh, already by the traditional brands so uh, there is uh, only little room left uh, for the very innovative uh, and independent watch brands uh, which is a pity so the, it would be fine if the independent watch industry in general would have more chance to come closer to the end consumer. So what do you see for the future of Zeitwinkel? We are glad that uh, when people uh, see our product in real, that they at least like it better than on our photos, on our pictures. And uh, by moving slowly, uh, we're getting more and more acquainted with the customers. And uh, I can say that in Asia, uh, there is uh, quite an open-minded uh, society. It's a little bit easier for us uh, to uh, uh, get on the market uh, than <laughs> funny wise in Europe or in Switzerland. So Peter, can we have a closer look at some of your watches? Okay, yeah. Now we uh, can come to our uh, functions. As you see, we have a power reserve indication which shows you the remaining energy from 0 to 72 hours. And then we have a nice, large, small second. And we have the large date on the left side. It's quite uncommon that uh, a large date uh, uh, is positioned on the left side because it's a little bit more difficult uh, to uh, arrange the gears to do so. That's why we have also received a patent uh, in January 2013, 
This year we have received a patent uh, for our large date mechanism. We come to the back side of the movement. The first thing you may notice is uh, the difference, uh, the color difference between the movement and the case, the stainless steel case. Because we're using uh, untreated German silver, which actually is an alloy of copper nickel zinc. So why would we use this material? The answer is only because of aesthetical reasons. Uh, it's a nice warm color surrounded by a cold colored case. Makes it much nicer than uh, if, uh, as if we have used uh, brass plates and then uh, applied rhodium as a corrosion protection. And these are the variations of the 273 degrees Zeitwinkel. New this year in blue. The color is galvanic blue. Probably I adjusted, uh, one can see hardly the large date. Well, let me turn a little bit. So now it's a bit more obvious. Yeah, this is our uh, blue 273 degrees we introduced this year. And then we have our black version. We have uh, this version in three different colors, as you see, in silver. Uh, actually, it's a, a very light silver in blue and in black here. This version uh, now is the 181 degrees Zeitwinkel, which works uh, on our base caliber, set W0102, while the other models work the, uh, uh, the 273 degree works with our movement set W0103. Uh, from the back side they uh, look pretty much the same, except uh, the indication of the rubies is different. So Peter, it's been uh, very nice having a chat with you and finding out more about your very exciting brand. I wish you the best of luck for the future and I hope that Zeitwinkel will make a bigger impact <laughs> in the consciousness of watch enthusiasts everywhere. Eddie, thanks a lot for your help too, which is highly appreciated. All right, thank you. Thank you.